Hey there, I'm Dyson Dix and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a super cool looking lyric video in a faster and easier way. Let's take a look at what we are gonna be making. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choir so far. So, if you are a complete beginner, you might find this a little confusing, so I recommend watching this tutorial where I cover most of the basics. But I will be making a tutorial by explaining some more advanced effects that you can do in lyric videos and yeah, so stay subscribed for that. So I definitely recommend you to not keep the browser open. Now once you copy this and then you can just uh, paste it onto a text document basically yeah. So imagine now first if I'm gonna use this the first line I'm gonna copy it control C and then in after text I'm gonna click this text tool and then I'm gonna paste this. So if you're wondering what this font is uh, the font link will be available in the description. Before adding the song I have to definitely tell you some more important hot keys that you must definitely know about so uh, you know to duplicate a layer you have to press ctrl and D and then bam it duplicates the layer now to split the layer you have to press ctrl shift D and bam see it just just split it see like it's, it's a different piece now and also I think you already know about the shift key functions because it's pretty much obvious but if you don't know by pressing shift it snap onto the playhead so that's what shift is used for and also you must definitely know all and the square bracket key now once you click press that it's basically gonna trim it so the open square bracket key is basically gonna trim it from the front by pressing alt and the close square bracket key it's gonna trim it from backwards so now that that's out of the way let's start with the real stuff so first uh, as you can see I have imported my music layer and a background image so uh, you can basically use whatever background image you want so I'm just gonna delete this text layer and yeah this is the background image I used I found it on Pixels I think I'm gonna make it fit to it yeah it looks good enough now I'm gonna import the music layer you can press the letter L twice to open the waveform of the music layer I hope you already know this and, and also you can press L once to open the audio levels layer and then just click the down arrow key from here to open the waveform so first of all once you import the music layer and the background image now you just have to don't care about the animations that you're gonna do just continuously keep adding the lyrics so the first lyric is going to be high so I'm gonna add the text layer by there you go and I think I have to reduce the opacity of the background layer a little more uh, I'm gonna basically continuously keep on adding the lyrics synchronized to the text so, so I'm gonna press ctrl shift D and copy the lyric so I added the first lyric like that just continuously keep on adding all the text so and then press ctrl shift D and then copy the next lyric and there you go so just like that we are gonna have to do that to the whole song so it's really not gonna take that long the, uh, if you are doing this for the first time it's uh, like gonna take a while but once you are used uh, to doing it and if you don't have a leggy computer obviously it's not gonna take that long so we just uh, keep copying and pasting the same lyric by just splitting the text layer now once you have done that to give this a little bit of motion what I'm gonna do is just search for the bigger position effect so you can also add this from an expression but but this is very easier because I'm gonna teach you the easier Okay. now just search for the bigger portion effect and then basically drag it on to the text layer change the bigger speed to like 2 and the bigger amount to like 20 you can just change it whatever you want based on what your requirement is so it's basically just gonna give you an effect like this so next what I'm gonna do is basically I'm going to add a common animation to every single one of the text layers so to do that what we have to do is basically I have just shifted all the text layers like like in a way that it gets under this like if I zoom it in you can see that this one is a little bit shifted a set of frames to the front so we can do that like shift it like 10 frames uh, under this now basically open the text layer and then here you can see a small animate icon 
Now once you click that, you can just um, select a range of effects button, whatever you want. But uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to basically be using the opacity effect. Now you have to basically set the opacity to zero and just uh, open the range selector and set a keyframe at start with zero and then like I think move it a couple of keyframes forward and then set it to 100. Now basically you can see there is a letter by letter animation, but I think it is actually too much. There are some other long verses too so i'm just gonna put this to words but you can do whatever you want just basically to copy this animation onto every single one of your texts you have to click on animator one and then press ctrl c click on the next text layer and then go to the starting point of it and then press ctrl v now if you press u on that layer you can see that there is, is the same animation copied into this text layer now that's what i'm gonna do for almost all of these just move the playhead to the beginning of the text layer and then just press ctrl v uh, until the last lyric so you need a in animation and an out animation for that i'm basically gonna do is just a position animation press p on your keyboard to open the position keyframes press this stopwatch icon to get a keyframe move the playhead a couple frames forward and then move this downward then you have to click select all the keyframes and press function f9 and then easy ease them so to easy ease them you can either press function f9 or you can just right click on the keyframe go to keyframe assistant and then click on easy ease so once you have done that uh, you have to click on this graph editor and then to give it a natural look so basically i'm gonna turn the graph into something like this press t on your keyboard to open opacity press the stopwatch icon on that and then basically uh, lower the opacity so that it fades out now you can basically adjust it as to whatever you want based on whatever you like it just once again it's your it's your animation so that is basically going to be the in and out animation for our text now you have to copy this animation to every single one of your text so basically to do that in this you have to basically select the keyframes from this text layer and press ctrl c and then go on to the next text layer and then at about the place where you want to it to fade out just press ctrl v and then you can press u to look at all the keys and then you have to just basically copy the same thing onto all of your text layers and that is basically the simplest animation that you can go for a text layer i don't think that really takes that much of a time and now if i was lazy i would have stopped the tutorial by now because this is basically what a little video is because i want to teach you guys something a little bit more and I'm gonna show you how you can animate the background now the next effect is going to be basically matching the movement of a snowfall with the music or the audio that you are using so to do that right click on the audio layer and then go to keyframe assistant and then click on convert audio to keyframes you will find this uh, layer called audio amplitude now click u once and then you can find the whole audio has been broken into keyframes just like this you can just basically uh, parent this to whatever thing that you want whatever property of whatever layer that you have and then just make it move with the audio i only need the uh, both channels layer i'm basically gonna click on these two left and right channels and then i'm gonna delete it but it's not it's not compulsory so next um i'm basically gonna parent the snowfall effect with the audio amplitude layer before we do that i'm gonna basically tell you how you can create a, a even more easier and simple brightness changing effect according to the audio so to do that basically go and create a new adjustment layer and then go to effects and presets and search for the brightness and contrast drop it onto the adjustment layer that you just created click on the stopwatch of the brightness value while you're pressing alt key of the keyboard just like this and then it's gonna basically turn into red and something like this is gonna pop up in the timeline section now basically this is where you can type in an expression where you can basically animate the uh, brightness so what i'm gonna do is by clicking on this pick whip tool i'm gonna drop it onto the slider of the audio amplitude now it automatically animates the brightness according to the audio amplitude so you can actually change the values of this if you want to increase the brightness uh, changing value you can type star and whatever the value so i'm just basically gonna type uh, two we have animated the brightness uh, adjustment layer you can what you can also do is add a snowfall layer because why not to add a snowfall effect 
search for the snowfall effect from the virtual pieces library and drop it onto that adjustment layer that you just created and i think you should always name your stuff because it will always get confusing if you just keep it like adjustment layer 5 adjustment layer 6 and you don't know what it is and then just name your layers what i'm gonna do is basically parent the speed of the snowfall adjustment layer click on the stopwatch of speed while pressing the alt key of your keyboard and then basically it's gonna show you this pick pip tool and you're gonna have to drag the pick pip tool and then drop it onto the slider the animation does not seem to be showing right yeah so what i recommend is going with these values the size of the snowflakes to 10 and increase the spread to like 30 and increase the opacity to like 70 it is actually reacting but it is a really slow reaction so what i'm gonna do is basically multiply this value by 10 because i need to increase the reaction rate so once i multiply it by 10 look what happens you can see it is actually reacting with the audio the audio amplitude another thing that i would recommend you to do is basically split your layer at like the drop part of the music so i have increased it to 40 at this point because there are actually no words like there are words but there are less amount of words and basically it gives you like a faster snow quality it is actually intensified like, so at these points i have like treated the layer and then like increased it and then again it turns down i have again reduced the speed to 10 at this point and again the drop comes in and at that part i have again increased the, the snowfall speed yeah basically that is all the animation that i have done to obtain this great video i think that is it for today if you want to see more tutorials like this just click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications and if you learn something from this tutorial just press the like button and just comment whatever the tutorial that you want me to make or any other questions that you have about this so until next time peace